FLU. Three little letters terrifying people across the country tonight as the epidemic spreads, filling emergency rooms, and for some, ending their lives. We have almost 3,000 comments on our Facebook page sharing many theories about the flu, vaccines, Tamiflu, chemtrials, home remedies. There's a theory out there for everything. We hear you, but cut through that noise, and this is what we know to be true. A 15-year-old girl in our community died from complications of the flu just five days after she went to the doctor. Kira Molina didn't have any previous health problems when she started feeling sick. She was tested for the flu, but it came back negative. And just days later, that very disease took her life. So what do you do if you think you have the flu, but the test says no? Christy Etheridge has been digging into that question all day. And Christy, it's clear, not all flu tests here are the same. Not at all, Vinny. Some take longer, some are more accurate, and some work better in kids. But maybe the trickiest part about these flu tests is that they're only about 63% accurate, the rapid ones at least, and that's what most people take. That means one in three tests are going to give you a false negative or a false positive. And that's what happened to this one mom after she went to the ER. They said my son had a cold and I had flu-like symptoms. My test come back negative and they sent me home. I about fainted before I went to the hospital. Come home, was in bed. A friend come and stayed with me. I literally quit breathing twice and he revived me. Like the first time I jumped up because of my breathing and um, the second time he just kind of brought me back and I kind of stayed awake since. So here's what we found out. Most people end up taking the rapid antigen test because it gives you results so quickly, like less than 15 minutes. But here's the biggest problem. False negatives are common, especially when flu activity is high. And we are definitely seeing high flu activity this season. The CDC also says this test can be better detecting the flu in children than in adults. Now, the next test is a rapid molecular assay test. That one is also pretty quick. It gives you the results in about 15 to 20 minutes, and it's a little bit more accurate than the rapid flu test. And then there are the specialized lab tests, which are done in hospitals or in public health labs. Those are much more sensitive and therefore more accurate in detecting the flu. But it takes several hours, even a couple of days, to get those results back. So, Chrissy, when you go to the doctor, do you get to pick which test you get? Not exactly. It mostly comes down to what they have available. And this season, we are experiencing a shortage of all the kinds of the flu tests. Here's the good thing, though. You don't have to get tested at all. If you're coming into the doctor with flu-like signs and symptoms, the doctor doesn't need a positive flu test. They'll probably just go ahead and treat you anyway. Vinny. All right. Thanks so much, Christy. You know, 11 Alive remains committed to bringing you the very latest on the flu and what's being done to fight it. You'll find updates and our previous stories online at 11alive.com.